okay now let us see some examples on beta function so if you look at the first problem what we are having integral 0 to 1 x to the power half 1 minus x to the power 5 by 2 dx now if you remember the first definition of beta here we are going to make use of the first definition of beta because we are having a product here and if you look at the limits we are having here integral 0 to 1 so with the help of first definition of beta we will try to solve this okay so by first definition of beta function how it look like so here if you look at the power of x it is half and if you look at the power of 1 minus x it is 5 by 2 so it will give you the beta of beta of m plus 1 comma n plus 1 so here we are going to have half plus 1 comma 5 by 2 plus 1 okay so it will give you beta of 3 by 2 comma 7 by 2 now if you remember the relation between beta and gamma function as I told you beta mn is equal to gamma m into gamma n upon gamma of m plus n so with the help of that beta 3 by 2 comma 7 by 2 will give you what gamma 3 by 2 into gamma 7 by 2 upon gamma of 3 by 2 plus 7 by 2 now if you remember the uh, gamma function gamma 3 by 2 will, will be given as half into gamma half plus into sorry gamma of 7 by 2 is given as 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of half and in the denominator you are going to have 3 plus 7 that is 10 10 by 2 is gamma it is 5 so that's why it is gamma 5 in the denominator now if you remember in the gamma function we have seen that gamma of half is root pi so this uh, gamma half and this gamma half will give you 2 root pi so root pi into root pi will give you pi over here and uh, if you simplify all this thing gamma 5 I hope you remember gamma 5 is 4 factorial that's why it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 over here and it will give you 5 pi upon 128 as the answer okay so this is the first problem if you look at the second problem uh, what do you think which property should we use yes it's correct we are going to make use of third property over here because we are having here the ratio so if you look at this we are having here uh, x to the power 4 upon 1 plus x to the power 7 and one more important thing over here is we are having here the limit as 0 to infinity so we are going to make use of the third definition of beta over here so by definition of beta third definition how it look like integral 0 to infinity x to the power 4 upon 1 plus x to the power 7 dx is equal to integral 0 to infinity now can i write down that 4 as 5 minus 1 so it is in the form m minus 1 upon in the denominator we want m plus n so we want to write down this 7 as the addition of 5 plus something so 7 can be written as 5 plus 2 that's why your m will be 5 and your n will be it will give you beta of 5 comma 2 I hope you are getting this thing what I'm doing I'm writing this 4 as 5 minus 1 so you are getting your m m is 5 and in the denominator we are having the power as 7 but you are supposed to write down that 7 as m plus something now already we have identified that m is 5 over here so with the help of that 5 we can write down 7 as 5 plus 2 so you identify your uh, m and n your m will be 5 and your n will be 2 okay so it will give you beta of 5 comma 2 now again we are going to make use the make a, make use of the relation between beta and gamma so it will give you gamma 5 into gamma 2 upon gamma of 5 plus 2 now if you remember gamma 5 is 4 factorial gamma 2 is 1 factorial upon gamma of 7 is 6 factorial so if you simplify it you are going to get the answer as 1 upon 30 now again the third definition of a uh, third pro problem on gamma uh, sorry beta so here we are having the problem of 0 to infinity x to the power 8 upon 1 plus x to the power 24 dx minus integral 0 to infinity x to the power 14 upon 1 plus x to the power 24 dx so if you uh, look at the previous problem and this problem is very much similar so again what we are going to do we are going to make use of the third definition of beta over here since we are having a ratio and since we are having the limit as 0 to infinity okay so here if you look at this 
uh, we can write down this 8 as 9 minus 1 okay so uh, we are getting here your m your m will be what m will be 9 and in the denominator we are going to write down that 24 as 9 plus something so that something will be 15 over here so it will give you 9 plus 15 so this will give you what this will give you m as 9 and this will give you a n as 15 so it is nothing but beta of 9 comma 15 fine similarly if you look at the second part so what we are having here x to the power 14 upon 1 plus x to the power 24 so we can write down that 14 as 15 minus 5 15 minus 1 so your m, m will be 15 now in the denominator we are having 24 so we are, we are supposed to write now that 24 as 15 plus something so 15 plus 9 will give you 24 that's why your n will be 9 okay so this will give you what this will be give you beta of 15 comma 9 so we are getting the thing as beta of 9 comma 15 minus beta of 15 comma 9 the very first property of beta already we have seen is nothing but what beta of mn is same as beta of nm so with this uh, with the help of this property we are going to get the answer of this thing is zero because both are same now next move to the next problem so if you remember the fourth fifth property of beta we are using fifth property over here so it is of the form integral 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x to the power m plus n so you can write down that 3 as 4 minus 1 and you can write down that 2 as 3 minus 1 over here so it will give you x to the power 4 minus 1 plus x to the power 3 minus 1 upon 1 plus x to the power 4 plus 3 so your m will be 4 and your n, n will be 3 so here we are getting m and n and here we are getting m plus n so your m will be 4 and your n will be 3 so your answer will be beta of 4 comma 3 again we will make use of the relation between beta and gamma so it will give you gamma 4 into gamma 3 upon gamma 4 plus 3 will give you 3 factorial into 2 factorial upon 6 factorial if you simplify it you will go to get the answer as 1 upon 16 now let's move to the next problem this is a very important problem so if you look at the thing we are having here the product so since we are having the product over here we have to make use of the we have to make use of first definition of beta but in the first definition of beta what we are having we are having the limits as 0 to 1 so we have to do such a substitution so that this 5 will map to 0 and that 9 will map to 1 okay so that substitution will give you what it is nothing but x minus 5 equal to upper limit upper limit over here is 9 and the lower limit over here is 5 so it is 9 minus 5 into t okay so see when you put x is equal to 5 over here <coughs> when you put x is equal to 5 over here so 5 minus 5 will give you 0 and your t will become 0 and when you put x is equal to 9 it will give you the answer as 9 minus 5 is 4 and 4 upon 4 will give you 1 so t will become 1 so your limits will become 0 to 1 that's what we want because we are using the first definition of beta so the next step will be x minus 5 is equal to 40 that implies x is equal to 40 plus 5 that means your dx will be 4 dt now once you put all this thing in the integration your integration will become integral 0 to 1 40 raised to 1 by 4 into 4 minus 40 raised to 1 by 4 into 4 dt after simplifying all this thing you are going to get 4 raised to 3 by 2 into gamma beta of 5 by 4 comma 5 by 4 now again when you make use of beta gamma relation and when you simplify it you are going to get the answer as 2.3 root pi into gamma of 1 by 4 raised to 2 ok please go through all the steps that I have written over here all steps are very important ok <coughs> now this is the problem uh, on the second definition of beta where we are having some trigonometric terms and the limits as 0 to pi by 2 
okay so how we are going to solve this problem so let us consider the first part of it 0 to pi by 2 root of tan theta d theta so by the second definition if you remember it is in terms of sine and cos so we can write down this tan theta as sine theta upon cos theta so the given thing will become integral 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to half into cos raised to minus half theta d theta so by the definition of uh, beta function we are going to have half of beta of p plus 1 by 2 upon into q plus sorry the second part will be q plus 1 by 2 so it will give you half beta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 4 again when you make use of beta gamma relation and when you simplify it further you are going to have the answer as pi upon root 2 for it now one more important thing over here is we are going to we are using one more property of gamma over here if you remember gamma p into gamma of 1 minus p is equal to pi upon sine p pi so that property i'm using over here so with the help of all this thing we are going to get the answer as pi upon root 2 same way similarly in integral 0 to pi by 2 root of cot theta d theta it can be written as integral 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to minus half and cos raised to half so this is one and the same thing here now your p will be minus half and your q will be half okay so it's like beta of m comma n and beta of n comma m but we know that beta mn is same as beta n so the answer for this one also we are going to get it as pi by root 2 so no need to simplify it is exactly same as we are having for tan now when you take the multiplication of these two things pi upon root 2 into pi upon root 2 you are going to get the answer as pi square by 2 thank you very much